My name is Bobby Vernon. I'm a high school football coach with the Palmetto Panthers in Miami, Florida. When I'm not coaching, I'm a speaker, writer, and business consultant, having spent the majority of my career in the private sector. This video introduces a series of tackling drills, which together form a teaching progression for tackling without helmets and shoulder pads. It's based on my experiences as both a coach and former player, having played at all amateur levels, including youth, high school, and college football. It's also based on my experiences as both a fan and player of the game of rugby. This video was created because I wanted to share what I believe is a safe, effective, and fun way to practice and teach sound tackling, principally to youth and high school football players. I believe if done correctly, this will condition players at an earlier age to keep the head out of the tackle and remain disciplined with their tackling form and technique. I also wanted to create a set of drills that would be easy to implement at all levels in that they do not require a lot of expensive equipment or complicated logistical coordination. These drills and tackling techniques combine elements of traditional form tackling and rugby style tackling techniques adapted for American football. The truth is that traditional tackling form and technique in American football is not radically different from tackling in the game of rugby. Many of the elements of an effective tackle are actually the same in both sports, with a few small technical differences. The principal advantage I see in introducing rugby tackling concepts to American football is the fact that rugby tackles are practiced, drilled, and executed without helmets and shoulder pads, which forces and conditions the players to consistently keep their heads out of the tackle and always remain disciplined with their tackling form and technique. It's been my observation that teaching traditional form tackling technique for American football is fine in theory, but very often both theory and form go out the window the day the kids strap on the helmet and shoulder pads, where big hits to or with the head are often encouraged and celebrated over sound tackling. It's clear to me that one of the best ways to teach sound tackling and to condition players to keep their heads out of the tackle is to actually drill and practice live shoulder tackling, just like rugby players. It's no secret that American football is dealing with a serious concussion problem. However, what isn't as well known or reported is that there are really two types of concussions experienced in American football those that are the result of an accident, and those that result from an intentional act, meaning they were caused on purpose by either using one's own head to deliver a blow or intentionally targeting and hitting an opponent's head. Accidental concussions are gonna happen from time to time in active sports, including rugby, basketball, cycling, baseball, and others. But unlike in football, concussions in these sports are always the result of an accident. Cyclers do not intentionally fall and bang their heads on the pavement. And likewise, basketball and baseball players don't hit themselves in the head on purpose. While it is important that we continue to study concussions and become better at treating them, eliminating all concussions from sports or life for that matter, is realistically impossible. Eliminating intentionally caused concussions in football, however, is not only possible, but I believe necessary if we hope the sport maintains its status as America's game. Big hits to or with the head, which are often celebrated on YouTube, must be replaced with better, sounder tackling, which can be just as physical. American football's origins are derived from the sport of rugby, so there's no reason why we shouldn't look to it for lessons which can improve our tackling and make the game safer. 
Recently, some extremely accomplished professional and college coaches have begun to embrace the concept of rugby-style tackling techniques. But as I've said, I believe it's less about the technique and more about the way rugby tackles are practiced, which is in a live environment without helmets and shoulder pads. I hope you enjoy this drill video. Please share your comments and questions and check out our blog, which is dedicated to improving both the culture and sport of American football.